This is Star Talk. All right, so let's go to Iana, who is at Goddess Memoirs on Twitter. Mm, sounds good. Yeah, it does. It does. Goddess Memoirs. All right, would soil on Mars force us to genetically modify foods to be able to grow there because of less sun? In, in other words, leafless. Can we genetify? Genetify. Can, genetify. <laughs> I feel genetified. <laughs> All right, that can we be. Gen- can we genetify plants to the point where they don't even need photosynthesis, uh, but they can still be eaten? Well, we eat mushrooms. Oh, wow. Do, 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 do. Look at uh, you, man. Look at that. Touche. So all that, all that aside. I do eat mushrooms. As a matter of fact, I'm still having flashbacks from the last I don't batch. Need, oh, I can't Whoa. hear you. So <laughs> everybody, I know it sounds so romantic to go live on Mars to some of us, among which I am not whom, uh, usage intended for comedic effect. Everybody, Mars is cold, crazy cold. And the sun is uh, less than a quarter as bright. So it's dim. I mean, I know we take pictures there, but these are with cameras that are where the iris or the, the system is set up to capture a lot of light before the picture is uh, sent home here mm-hmm. to Earth. So not Furthermore, a place to live if you have seasonal and you can't affective breathe. disorder. Yes. And you can't breathe. Gotcha. So everybody, it sounds so romantic. If you really want to colonize Mars, go to Antarctica for a couple years. Okay. And don't know, not on the shore where the birds are, and the orcas grabbing the penguins out mm-hmm. of midair. No, yeah. no. You None go, of this happy feet no, stuff. No, right. Yes. Right. None of that. You go where it hasn't snowed in over a century and see what the dry valleys and see what you think. Try it for a couple years. So and by you? the way, don't even breathe. Take all the scuba tanks you need just to simulate it. So I want to go to Mars. I want to look for signs of life on Mars. I'm the first guy to do that. But I don't want to go colonize it and then genetically modified crops so they modify crops so they can survive in a greenhouse on Mars. That would be charming. Right. But it's not a big goal of mine. So what would be more I know we're still in GMOs, but I just yeah. gotta ask, what would be more um, desirable, colonizing Mars or colonizing the moon? Oh, God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to elicit that kind of death disgust. by vacuum or <laughs> death by freezing. I mean, either one. Either uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> but the, you know, the moon would be, here's the thing. In Antarctica, we have a science base. We have a uh, McMurdo station and people go there and they do scientific research. They make amazing discoveries about the hole in the ozone, about climate change, about the ice sheet sliding off the continent of Antarctica. Gotcha. Very important. Mm-hmm. The earth used to be so warm, ancient dinosaurs wandered around in that continent back in the day. What? Yes. All right. But we make those discoveries. That's good. But you don't go there to live. You go there to work gotcha. and hang out for a while. It's and like LA. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Uh, from your perspective. From my perspective, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, for our viewers who are not in the United States, L.A. is Los Angeles, California, and Chuck, I think, is a native New Yorker. Uh, is a Philadelphian, but... Philadelphian, even more troubling as yeah. a Nationals <laughs> baseball fan. Uh, uh, he's... P- p- uh, eschews, poo-poos, is disrespectful of our beloved Los Angeles. Love Los Angeles, just couldn't live there. Yeah, so all. anyway, the same is true of Mars. Now, genetically modifying plants to make it on Mars, a worthy undertaking, but not something I want to spend a lot of invest, a lot of uh, intellect and treasure on. This is Star Talk. Star Talk. 